A show. He makes a show with his kitchen crew. With his kitchen crew, the TV guy. The TV guy. Tell him what to do, do, do. When you see him coming, well everybody knows. Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Potato Head. Quiet, please. Quiet. Thank you. You know, I've called this press conference because, well, I was watching TV and I saw some big star having a press conference and I thought, hey, I'm a big star. How come I never do that? So I got on the phone and called you all here and <laughs> pretty tubular, huh? I tell you, it's amazing how much totally unearned power us celebrities have. Anyways, uh, you guys want to ask some questions. How about um, uh, Mr. Potato Head? Mr. Potato Head. You there, ask away. Mr. Potato Head, Alan Smithy from the Chronicle News Times Star Tribune. Is it true that you. Absolutely not! I deny it categorically! <laughs> I just love doing that. <laughs> okay, next question. Mr. Potato Head, Amy Meany from the Mighty Mo News. Do you have any words of advice for your young viewers? Yes, I do. Do not, under any circumstances, wear your underwear outside your clothes. Sure, I know all the other kids are doing it, and if you don't do it, you'll be uncool or square or even a ninny. But trust me, it's a recipe for disaster. Okay, uh, one more question. Anyone? Uh, uh, Agent Sculder from the X-News. How do you answer the rumors that you have a secret plan to rule the world? Huh. How did you know that? Huh. Uh, press conference is over. Everybody out, out, out. Turn that camera off. <laughs> My kung fu is the best in the country. Dog. You will pay for this idle post. Oh, I'm going to... What do you think about that, boss? I have a funny feeling we're going to agree with whatever it is you say. <laughs> the Mr. Potato Head Show has outlived its usefulness to the plan. What plan? That information is given out on a need-to-know basis only. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Excellent! Please inform Mr. Potato Head that his show is... Cancelled! <laughs> oh, and we're putting the Donkey Waddlefoot show on in your place. And, oh, you're gonna have to move out of the kitchen. Today! Yeah, we feel awful about that. Yeah. Hey, it's been great being your boss. Okay, go away now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Chloe. Don't hurt me. Be a dear and get someone up here with a broom and a dustpan. Maple Street's much faster. Gee, this upholstery's really plush. Yeah, well, I'm glad to see you're wearing your seatbelt, PH. Oh, look, a sushi bar. Oh, I want a salmon skin roll. Oh, as do I. Oh, wow. I'm so upset I can't even hallucinate properly. Oh, man. When I think of all the fun I had making the show. <laughs> it's Betty the Kitchen Fairy. Look at you. You're sitting in garbage for crying out French. You've betrayed all your friends and made yourself miserable. And for what? Well, for all this money! <laughs> Listen good, you fat-eyed spleen sniffer. The only thing money is good for is buying stuff that'll make you happy. And what's the only thing that's ever made you happy? Uh, peanut butter ice cream? No, making your TV show with your friends. It's the only thing you love. <laughs> That's our show, folks. Good night. Oh, Queenie, I just want you to know 
And I couldn't do this show without you. Oh, thanks, P.H. Hey, P.H., you gotta come home. No, nah, you don't want me back. You've got the Robotato. He's nicer, he's more talented, and, and he brought about peace in the Middle East. Yeah, well, so what, P.H.? You are our friend, and that counts for something in this mixed-up, crazy world of ours. No one can replace you. Uh, you don't have to help. In fact, I wouldn't blame you if you never spoke to me again. But I want you to know, no matter what happens, I'll always be your friend. That was very touching, P.A. Thanks a lot, I got it off a greeting card. Now come on, let's go! Oh, I, I guess you're busy. Help us, Potato! Help me! Whoa. Oh, I gotta think of something. Uh, I need a weapon. Oh. Aha! Hey, 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 monster! You like money, right? Well, well, I just happen to have a cookie jar full of this stuff. Uh, here, uh, take it and uh, buy yourself something nice. <laughs> you saved this, P.H. <laughs> and you sacrificed all your precious money to do it. Yeah, well, I learned what's really important to me. Huh? My friends. Aww. <laughs> Come here, you assortment of big lugs. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to tell everybody? Canceled? We've been canceled? I can't believe it! I cannot believe it either! Can you believe it? Because you're kind of looking like you can believe it. No, this is my I can't believe it face. Well, I can't believe it! Have I mentioned how much I am not believing it? I'm going to break it to the others in small groups. We don't want to riot on our hands. No, no, no. We don't want that. I would like to say once more that I am so very not believing in this cancelled thing. You have no idea what cancelled means, do you? Is it some kind of cheese? <sighs> what? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hey, I I'm sorry about this, guys. Oh, curse it, fate! I curse you, fate! I curse you! <laughs> there, there, there. You'll get over it someday. Hey, hey, look at the bright side. You'll have more time to work on your musical career. You're right, P.H. You're right! This is the greatest thing ever! Happy Whip, come on! You can be my manager! I, I said someday! You'll get over it someday! <clears throat> <laughs> Make it didn't happen! Make it didn't happen! Well, I'm sorry, Dr. Fruitcake, but the show is cancelled. Y you have to face reality! No. No, I don't. I will change reality. Yes, the show will live again, even if I must reverse the very flow of time itself. Yes! <laughs> Hey, wouldn't that require breaking the laws of physics? I prefer to think of them as suggestions. <laughs> but, but what will I do? Kenny can go back to his old job. Kenny had a job? Mm, yes, he was a university physics professor. Quark? 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 But I am unemployable. My particular variety of incompetence is suited only to the world of television. <laughs> well, there's always politics. Oh. Yes. Why, thank you, Peach. I shall rule the world. <laughs> I just opened up Pandora's box, didn't I? Quack! <laughs> Okay, I've packed my Being More Open With Your Feelings and Stuff book. And I've packed uh, my aromatherapy kit. Hmm. Farewell, good times. Oh, cheer up, PH. We're finally going to take that big road trip that we always talked about. It'll be great. I guess. <laughs> guess what, guys? I booked a gig. Yes, Queenie's going to sing on a cruise ship, and I am going with her. It is not so very exciting. <laughs> so, you're leaving? Yeah. Well, uh, 
I hate long goodbyes, so, uh... Great cookity muckity! What's that over there? Huh? <laughs> I'm really gonna miss those guys. Yeah, we had some good times here, didn't we, Baloney? We sure did, PH. Yep, we sure had some good times. Hey, hey, what's going on? Everything's going wiggly. What the heck is happening here? Sorry, I'm just having a flashback. Well, you could warn a person. <laughs> Come on, hug! Hug! Come on! Can you feel the love in this room, huh? I am what I am, Yam! And I'm gonna take you down! One of you! Is a spy! I was just gonna say, you seem a little stressed out. Oh! I shall perish! Perish as does the snowman with the dread approach of spring! My plant! You killed it! Who's a nut bar? That's right, it's you! Uh, <laughs> you know, we really shouldn't be mad at each other. No, no, we should no, be mad no. at him! Oh, oh, boy, that flashback munch, baby! Don't do that again, okay? That wiggling stuff makes me nauseous. Uh, sorry. Uh. I have created an interdimensional portal capable of taking us to alternate universes, each different from our own. There we will find a world where the Mr. Potato Head show has not been cancelled. All will be as it was, Hammy. Yay! Now when I throw the cities of levers, we will be whisked away to an alternate universe! <laughs> Dang! Oh, well, I guess we'll just have to use this interdimensional portal thingy I got from a mail order catalog. It has a digital clock, Hammy. Come, my meaty friend, let us journey to elsewhere! <sighs> Oopsie! I forgot my collection of lace doilies! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Here we go! Come on, PH! Let's hit the open road, huh? No, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. I, I just need a moment alone. Well, okay. Kenny, you can stop playing the violin. All right, get on out of here. Come on, come on. Big fella, we're having an adventure on the open road. Uh, I just can't stop thinking about all the great times we had making the show. Good morning, my lovable cast of misfits. <laughs> Let's get to work on the show. Fear not! For I shall fly to the rescue with my futuristic rocket pack. Is this levitation trick gonna work? Oh yeah, easy peasy. Hey, this works pretty good. <laughs> I can't make a TV show out of this. Everybody ready? Yay! Ready! <laughs> Hang on, cut! 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 Okay, uh, all right, follow me! I Ow! 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 The Mr. Potato Head show is doomed! Scone! 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 Scone!
Biscuit. You stay out of this! Uh, wait, isn't that an electrified pen? Uh. Not in any way good. Hey, I asked you not to do that wiggling thing anymore. I think I'm gonna seek up. Sorry. <coughs> well, look, this road trip is supposed to take our minds off of our tragic loss. Yeah, you're right. We're gonna see all the scenic vistas of the continent. Get your camera ready, cuz beauty, here we come! Oh, this is gonna be great! The sun, the invigorating salt air, the shipboard romances. <gasps> hey, what ship are we on? The Golden Mermaid? The Ocean Goddess? The Sinking Duchess. Hmm, there's something vaguely unsettling about that name, but uh, can't seem to put my finger on it. Say, Hammy, did I leave the oven on? Oh, whoa! We have done it, Hammy. We have reached an alternate universe. Get cracking, party people. We got a show to make. Saints be praised, Hammy. In this world, the show has not been cancelled. We will once again live in joy and harmony. Harmony! <laughs> Well, aside from the beards, this seems pretty normal. Tubular, baby! This show's gonna be great! Sweet cheese and crackers! I am breathless with anticipation! Hey, am I gonna sing in this show or what, bug boy? Ooh, duh. Oh. My beard itches. Oh. Let us leave this dimension, Hammy. It gives me the creeps. Hammy want grow beard! Now, now, Hammy. Maybe when you're older. Oh, man. The scenic beauty of our land is rump ugly. Well, maybe I shouldn't have gotten that tour guide from the Hideous Eyesore Society. Well, I hope the others are having a better time than us. Yeah. Hey, you think Johnny has a recording contract yet? I bet he does! <laughs> Boy, one non-fat half-calf mocha blended chino, mate. You want whipped cream with that? Sure. Boo! Yeah. Here you go, mate. Cheers. And I wonder how Giblet's political career is going. Yeah, I wonder as well. The others are doing just great. Hey, did uh, you tell the writer the show was canceled? Uh, I thought that you told him. Uh, you did unlock his closet, didn't you? Uh, uh yes, I, I, I did. Potato, and welcome to the beautiful Sinking Duchess cruise ship. So, just out of curiosity, who here is less than a hundred years old? Well, I hear shipboard romances never work out anyway. Okay, now I have to sing the Sinking Duchess song. Hope you enjoy it as much as I don't. Sinking Duchess, Sinking Duchess, glory unto thee. The average age of your passenger is a hundred forty-three. We love your food, which can be chewed.
chewed by dentures or by gums. And thanks for hiring strange perspiring circus freaks and bums. Glory unto thee. We understand that by boarding we have entered into an applied contract which says that we are not entitled to a refund if you sink to the bottom of the sea. Would you cheer up already? Yeah. I just keep thinking about all the fun we had back in the kitchen. Oh! You want feelings, do you? I am through being nice. <laughs> Potato bug! I know! I know! It's all my fault! Thanks so stupid! I feel like you didn't trust us. You have gone mad! Mad with greed! Yeah. Well, you say that like it's a bad thing. Knock it off, you big baby! What kind of monsters are you? I really am a brain-dead buffoon. Honest. I feel like you owe us a big apology. Get ready for the ultimate test of meat versus potato. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, come on, uh, I can take uh, it, Queen. Uh, come, come on, come on. Uh, get away, stay back. <laughs> um, did I ever mention that violence never solves anything? All right, you I can't believe you said that about Queenie's hair. I mean, it's true and all, but I still can't believe you said that. Oh, but listen, you old off-key sack of mold! Johnny's not nearly as off-key as he used to be. Oi, at least I don't smell! Why can't we just get along, everyone? No, no, no we can't get along. I thought all of you were my friends. Well, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Either you let me sing, or I'm gonna play pin the fist on a potato. And I feel like you're a pink brain jerk! You're right. I'm sorry. But I swear, starting right now, I, I want you to know I, I trust you all completely. Really? Oh, well, that's great. <laughs> So that means I can borrow your car. Yeah. What are you crazy? You'll wreck it. You have got to cut that out. One more of those wiggly flashbacks, and I'm gonna sink all over your plush upholstery. I'm sorry. I miss the show. I miss my friends. I miss Queenie calling me Spud Boy. I miss Potato Bug trying to make toast in the dishwasher. I miss the way Giblet's eyes would light up whenever anyone mentioned the Spanish Inquisition. You have to stop dwelling on the past, PH. This calls for extreme measures. You don't mean... Yes, the button. No, not the... Uh, what buttons? Uh, you know, the mysterious buttons that Dr. Fruitcake installed in the car? The ones that he told us never to press? Well, I say that we start pressing them. They're bound to do something fun. <laughs> yeah, or something mind-bogglingly dangerous. Well, either way, they'll get your mind off the past. Press away, see if I care. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Three days in a blistering sun without food. Can this be the end? Can it? Is that shoe talking to you? Yes. What's it saying? Uh, nothing important. Just EDM. 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 This does not bode well. Hmm. 
something is faintly peculiar about this world, Harry. Oh. Everything big? Right. That's it. Also, the inhabitants seem to be bloodthirsty carnivores. Ooh. Run, Harry, run! We're doomed, Hammy, doomed in the most extreme way imaginable. Traffic jam out there by the Proxima Centauri, huh? Hey, uh, think we can use your bathroom? Well, uh, you know, we've been chugging coffee for 12 parsecs. Oh, yeah, bada bing. Bada boom. I gotta go. Oh, I am sorry that I am not the most intelligent being in existence anymore. Hey, don't worry about it. We found someone more intelligent anyway. Oh. Come, ghost plant. We will take you to our world where we will crown you emperor of the universe. What he said. Bada bing. Bada boom. You do that wiggling thing one more time, and you are walking back to Earth, little mister. <laughs> Come on, PH. You can't possibly not be having fun. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, doing the show was my life, which means my life is now over. You got me? Things couldn't possibly get worse. Hey, Mr. Potato Head. Hey, we just wanted to let you know that everyone's forgotten your show already. And that donkey Waddlefoot is now the biggest star in the universe. Okay, bye. Bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Potato Head, meet Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom, meet Mr. Potato Head. Well, it looks like the only way to cheer you up is to press one more button. Oh, well, that's funny. Nothing seems to have... Uh... Thank you for choosing the hmm? self-destruct function. What? Have a nice 60 seconds. 59. What? 58. Hey, wait! 57. Not in any way good! Eh, <laughs> 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 uh, what do I care? My life's over anyway. What the fuck? 51. <laughs> Will Mr. Potato Head and Baloney survive the fiendish countdown? Will Queenie and Potato Bug be forever lost at sea? Will Dr. Fruitcake and the Ham Monster escape the giant carnivorous Mr. Potato Head? Will Giblets win the election? But most important of all... Why have they forgotten about me? I mean, I know I haven't been very involved in the show lately, but you'd think that someone would have told me we were canceled. A phone call, is that too much to ask? 
anyway. Will our heroes survive? Find out after this extra special bonus musical interlude. that sweep in the nation, the Fluffy Pookie Poo. The stress of life has laid you low. There's a magic land where you can go. The bathroom is nice and quiet in the bathroom. You gotta try it in the bathroom. You can sit and read. I swear it's true, it's all you'll ever need. The bathroom is in a coma in the bathroom. for you me latest musical stain a heartfelt thingy to our beloved leader uh, whose name uh, uh, Mr. Potato Head <coughs> Potato! Potato! Right kind of round Baby Brown He comes from Potato Town Sour cream makes him proud Potato! Hit it! Wow. Chum. I like cooking red. 
face and is staring at my thumb. Poor Tetra Bug. Tetra, 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 Tetra Bug. I am not a tomato bug or a tornado bug or a mutato bug. <laughs> but a chili and a friend of bug? No. Empty coffee mug? No. I am a potato bug. He's a root in pursuit. He's a sleuth and a super duper. Snoopy tuber. He's a double OP. When the arch enemies march, they call the starch e carbohydrate. They'll charge a higher spy rate for double O P O T A T O. That's O with no E. He lives on the edge He's a mensch of a veg Give your heart if you dare to this Rare pond up chair And they'll try to turn our guy With plastic eyes to chili cheese fries But they'll meet their demise Cause he is double O Incredible. Money, 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 money. Think of the things I could buy with that cash. A monkey that sings or a sports car to crash. A thousand bedpans of solid gold. A politician who'll do as he's told. Just think of the things I could buy. Ooh, I could buy some pectoral implants. Ooh, a billion french fries. For the nation of France, a thousand billboards that bear my face. The winning horse in the Preakness race. Ooh, the Mona Lisa smile in a booyah base. Think of the things I could buy. Ooh, just think of the things I could buy. Think of the things I could buy. When you are near each night and day It's then, my dear, that I must say Go away, out of my vicinity Go away, get real, real far away from me Take your hat and go and hit the highway Go by car or boat, just don't go my way Please stay, I can't bear to have you gone Please stay, there's no way I can go on You're the one on who I'm relying If you run, I'm doomed and I'll be crying Go away Please stay, I'm on my knees and begging Go away Please stay, I'll throw an arm and leg and I've got one thing to say Please go I will now perform for you me latest musical onslaught. It concerns a subject very dear to me heart. Jeez! 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 Good part of the salty, never faulty. It's the fate of your poor donkey. It's the best of all, but high in cholesterol. Jeez! Thank you, thank you. You're the light of my life. And now, let us return to our heroes to see if they will all perish in icky, nasty, awful ways. BH, we gotta do something! Uh, I've lost my show. I've lost my reason for living. Why not just go out in a blaze of glory? Cause... <laughs> don't wanna... <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. Six, five, four, eleven, six, twenty, twenty, nineteen, forty eight, a million, seventeen, a hundred and thirty nine, hundred and thirty nine. 
which allow us to survive for weeks at a time without food. You're thinking of walruses. Oh, but you do have thick layers of... Don't go there. I know what would lift you from the doldrums of starvation and despair. Dancing and dinner with Leonardo DiCaprio? No, if we paddled over to that less tropical island over there. Oh, we're safe! Oh. Please don't tell me that island's been behind me this whole time, and you just didn't mention it until now? Okay, I will not tell you. I can't get the interdimensional portal to work, Hammy. There's only one thing to do. Wait. Stop. Yes? I must use that mysterious power common to all big goods, Hammy. Oh? Mesmerism. <laughs> By the power of my glance And all the stinky cheese in France <laughs> And every tailor who sells pants You will fall into a trance And do a very stupid dance <laughs> He's actually pretty graceful for the big guy. Hammy love or the dance. Mm. Well, at least I'm not starving anymore. <coughs> Still, it gives me all this time to think about just how much I miss my friends. I, I, I have something that will cheer you up, Skipper. Don't call me Skipper. I have constructed a luxurious mansion for you, out of palm fronds and spit. It has everything you could ever want, Skipper. Don't call me Skipper. A tennis court, and a swimming pool, and hot and cold running coca coconuts. Does it have pH bologna in the rest? I do not think so. Then I don't care. But Skipper! Do not! Uh, 48, 20, 60, 92, 90. No, oh, I give up. If you want to self-destruct, you could just go find yourself another countdown voice. Good news, PH. We're not going to be blown to subatomic particles after all. <laughs> Whoop the freaking do. Oh. Donkey Waddlefoot! How come that talentless pig biter has a show and I don't? It's enough to make me want to quit wallowing in self-pity and just do something? Hey, maybe so. Who's a quitter? Not me, baby. Just because we're not on TV doesn't mean we can't do a show. Ooh. Hey, um, hand me the cell phone, my meaty chum. Uh, aye, aye, PH. Oi! <gasps> That'd be brilliant, PH. We'll be right there. Hey, happy with. Let's rock and roll. I didn't realize they had phone service in the cosmic void between dimensions. I'll get it. Hello! Yes, 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 yes. Excellent! I'll be right there, PH. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you all! I'll get it! Hey, do you mind? I'm busy making hollow campaign promises! Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, PH. I'll be right there! Sorry, have to go! Yes, PH! You're right, PH! 
appreciate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, baloney, looking good, baloney, ni ni, baloney, ni ni ni, ni 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 ni. I know that you miss our friends, but you really have to stop talking to these dummies, Skipper. Can you believe it, PH? She called you a dummy, me me me. Mm. I think you have eaten too many coconuts. Oh. I will get it. You heard that too? I thought it was just another sign of my alarming mental disintegration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello? Hello? Oh, yes, BH. We are fine. How are you? Uh, come back with me. Oh, yes, huh? Okie Doke. We will be right there, right away. <laughs> Potato Bob, why didn't you tell me there was a phone in the life raft? Oh, I thought you knew. It was right next to the signal flares and the canned goods and the outboard motor. I think I'm going to be ill. And a satellite dish with two-way video conferencing uplink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, party people, we're gonna do a live stage show. Huh? <laughs> it is so great to have everybody back together again. Yeah, and everything is gonna be perfect. And from now on, nothing bad will ever happen again! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes, so mighty ruler, we will lead the armada to Oif and conquer it. <laughs> All hail Emperor Ghost Plant. Hey, you think it's weird that we're taking orders from a dead plant? The words you speak are treason. Oh, sorry. Don't tell anyone, okay? Buy me a burger? Deal. Well, let's go conquer the earth. Sure. Bada bing. Bada boop. Hey, you know, this place is pretty good. With a couple of months to write a script and build some sets and maybe another month or so to rehearse it, I think that we could have a pretty good show. Oh, uh, did I mention that the show opens today? What the? <laughs> I bet you're gonna say not in any way good. Not in any way good! <laughs> <laughs> Dig me, I'm psychic! <laughs> I've got two eyes! He's got two eyes! I've got a nose! He's got a nose! I've got two ears! He's got two ears! Wherever I go! Wherever he goes! And when you see me coming, well, everybody knows! Mr. Potato Head! Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head! <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mr. Potato Head live stage extravacular! Whoa, hear that thunderous applause? We're a hit, baby! Huh, you've gone funny in the head. <laughs> Hey, I know there's only one guy out there, but we're gonna give him the best dang show of his life. Yeah, providing he's lived his whole life in a cave. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> doctor, doctor, my feet smell and my nose runs. Are you sure you're not built upside down? <laughs> 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 Uh, um, um, doctor, doctor, uh, uh, um, um, uh, my dandruff is so bad. How bad is it? Well, yesterday I scratched my head and I got a ticket for littering. <laughs> dandruff. That's not funny. I'll have you know that dandruff, stinking dandruff, killed my paw. Uh, okay, we're, we're just a few minutes into our live stage show spectagunza, and our whole soul audience member has stormed off in a huff. Can I say not in any way good now? Great. Things could not possibly get worse. You know, the last time you said that, things got worse. 
Don't get superstitious on me now. Uh, what? 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 There's only one way to find out. Turn on the TV? Precisely, my meaty chum. <laughs> huh. it's what? Donkey Waterfoot, and he's on every channel. Oh, I think he's gonna say something. The aliens are your friends. Obey their will. Do not resist. Do not resist. Do not resist. I think that what I'm getting at here is do not resist. Uh, I always knew Donkey Waterfoot was in league with the forces of evil. Uh, don't you see? It's a conspiracy of epic proportions. The aliens arranged for our show to be canceled so that Waterfoot could become popular and lull the people of Earth into submission. And that means we are the only ones who can save the planet. Well, I guess that means our planet is doomed then. Thanks for the can-do attitude, baby. But before we learn the fate of the Earth, here are some totally irrelevant moments. <coughs> Hello, uh, oh, hi, Tom, uh, Nancy, uh, Diane. <clears throat> I have called this press conference here today to announce to the world my latest invention. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. You see, it will cure all known diseases, yes. Provide limitless power and make spinach taste like cherry cheesecake. <laughs> and best of all, it is completely safe. Okay, uh, your latest invention just exploded. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Actually, I do have another invention, which is rather impressive. I would love to tell you about it. And now, an editorial from Potato Bug. <clears throat> I offer you hellos, viewer people out there. I would like to speak out on behalf of one of our unfortunate animal brethren. I refer, of course, to the wild scapegoat. Why must we blame the poor scapegoat for everything? What has it done to us? And why, oh why, do we blame so many things on it? Please, I beg of you, be kind to the wild scapegoat. Potato bug, it's just a figure of speech. What does figure of speech mean? It means that a scapegoat is not a real animal, potato bug. Oh. <laughs> I will now perform for you me latest musical lump. A little ditty concerning our fabulous TV bosses, Nora and Erin. <laughs> TV bosses! TV bosses! Right, they tell us what to do, but they haven't got a clue. They make me want to spew. <laughs> TV bosses! Oi! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, don't tell Nora and Aaron about this song, right? Okay, back to the show! <laughs> Set up, bring it up! <sighs> All right, listen up, everyone. We must protect our world from the hideous alien invaders, my friends. To be sure, we are entertainers, not warriors. But the important thing is that we are all working together, be it on a quality TV show or the hopeless battle which will surely end in our demise. So, stout comrades, we shall save the Earth or die trying. Who's with me? Uh. Did I mention that anyone who is with me gets a coupon good for a free frozen yogurt? Oh, yeah. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, everybody. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on. Come on. This way, you guys. Come on. All right, you can. You guys go that way. I'm going this way. Come on. All right, we gotta save the earth. Which way should we go? Uh, uh. Well, I know my car will go into space. 
You didn't touch those buttons I told you not to touch, did you? Don't quibble. But there are eight of us. Can you think of any way we can all fit in it, Dr. Fruitcake? Hmm. Indubitably. Heads up, potato! Shiver me chivers! Voila! Seating for eight! <laughs> now we can all fly into outer space and be destroyed by aliens, PH. <laughs> Who's a mad genius? That's right, it's you! <laughs> you know, uh, that's an unusual feature to install in a car. Well, I'm an unusual cake. <laughs> <laughs> Red Leader 1 to Wobbling Turkey. Come in, Wobbling Turkey. Why does our code name have to be Wobbling Turkey? Why can't it be Soaring Eagle or something? I want to be Happy Chicken. Hmm. Roger that, Wobbling Turkey. Red Leader 1 to Apoplectic Water Buffalo. Come in, Apoplectic Water Buffalo. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Papa Luppy. Uh, Appaloosa. anti flammable bacteria. Uh, I'm here, Potato Head. Roger that, Apoplectic Water Buffalo. Red Leader 1 to Cocker Spaniel with a Canadian accent. Come in, Cocker Spaniel with a Canadian accent. Uh, uh, enough with the code names, PH. I'm Fruitcake. Dr. Fruitcake. He never gets it right, Hammer. Oh. Fine, no more code names, you big baby. <gasps> PH, look! Oh. 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 It's an alien armada! Oh. Oh. Okay, party people, let's kick some alien keister! It's been real amusing and all, but um, we have to conquer your planet now. Yeah, so we're gonna destroy you and your friends with our ultimate weapon. You don't mean sarcasm? No, something even more powerful. A really, really, really big hammer. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. Not in any way good! Sweet cheese and crackers! Right, go get it, mug it! Ploy me! Wontag's beard! It's a cacophony of mayhem, Hammer! I love it! <laughs> oh. uh, uh, this looks like the end, my meaty chum! My only regret is that I never visited Paris! <laughs> <laughs> are, are you here to call us juddering magpies? No, you juddering magpie. I'm here to do something for a change. I'm going to save you and the Earth from those goat-bellied alien loggerheads. Gosh, Betty, that'd be keen. Yeah. Hmm. By the power of my enchanted ladle, I call upon Blostragath the Destroyer. <laughs> free. I'm free. <sighs> And I'm unusually large. Hmm. Or's divorce. <laughs> so you want to flee in terror? Sure. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh, that's good! Thing. Thanks, Betty the Kitchen Fairy! Don't mention it, you assortment of dundered pated whales' bladders! Oh! And since I hate to leave without criticizing anyone, we have poor taste in clothing and a funny nose. All right, cheerio! Well, PH, it looks like the Earth is saved. Party time! Sugar cream pies are on me? Mm. Tubular, baby! Oh, but first there's one little detail I have to take care of. Huh? Jet 
Fuck you! I have put two and two together and come up with evil. You, sir, are one of the fiendish alien overlords. And Budkins, I've been found out! Curse you, Mr. Potato Head! You have foiled our plan to conquer your insignificant planet! Well, if it's so insignificant, why do you want to conquer it? Uh, oh, that's a really good point. I guess you saved us a lot of trouble. Thanks, buddy! Catch you on the flip side. I always thought the boss was kind of odd. Now, don't you feel bad knowing that you were working for a fiendish monster bent on enslaving all the people of the Earth? Eh, there's worse people in this business. Anyway, now that he's gone, I guess you can have your show back. Oh, and you'll be my bosses again? Honest and for true? Yeah, why not? Tubular, baby! Oh, yeah! I'm gonna make a show so great, it'll put hair on your chest. Ooh! It'll put hair on every chest in the world. Ha <laughs> ha! Enough hair to bring joy and peace to everyone. Ha <laughs> ha I have no idea what that means, but I love it. Mm. Listen up, party people. I know we're all happy to be together again, and I know we're proud to have saved the Earth and made the universe safe for, well, for us. But you know, let us not lose sight of our goal which is to provide viewers everywhere with high-quality programming, which is their inalienable, God-given right! Woohoo! Yeah! Yes, yes. <laughs> Roy! So, what should the episode next week be about, hmm? Ah, who cares? People will watch anything. <laughs> you know, you're right! Greetings, oh beloved viewers. Just to let you know that I care, I'm gonna answer some fan mail. Augustus Panfried of Anytown, Bolivia, writes, Dear Mr. Potato Head, is it just me or are you putting on weight? Well, Augustus, perhaps this would be a good time for me to say, No, no, and a thousand times no! <sighs> I have maintained a perfectly consistent weight for years. How do I do it, you ask? Well, I follow a very strict dietary regimen scientifically designed especially for me by a guy who lives in a crate behind the discount furniture warehouse. Yes, every morning I eat six scrambled egg whites and a bowling ball, washed down with three quarts of helium to keep my coat glossy. And then for lunch, I have either a glass of zebra milk or an old shoe and peach syrup. My uh, afternoon snack consists of wheatgrass juice and moon cheese. Then at dinner time, I look at pictures of all the food I'm not supposed to eat and cry my little eyes out. Of course, this diet isn't for everyone, but uh, if you're a talking potato, it offers a perfect balance of vitamins, isotopes, and all that stuff guaranteed to keep you as trim and healthy as a swollen hedgehog. <laughs> so, um, thanks for your letter, and uh, Augustus, if you ever make a crack about my weight again, I will personally come to any town Bolivia and give you a wedgie of epic 